Norman Rockwell is one of America's most important artists. He was born in 1894 and he lived for 84 years. And during that time, he lived through an extraordinary arc of American art. He grew up in an era where American illustration art was the dominant visual art form in our nation. And artists aspired to be illustrators and have their works on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post and all the major magazines of the day. And before radio and television, this was the dominant way to receive pictorial information. So Norman Rockwell aspired from a young age to be an illustrator. It was his dream. Some of his favorite memories were summers he spent in the country, and this always uh, stayed with him, that his love of the country, his love of small communities. So after he spent the first uh, early years of his life in New York City, and then his early adulthood in New Rochelle, New York, he did move to New England and lived for 14 years in Arlington, Vermont, and the last 25 years in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Rockwell painted for nearly 65 years, and one of the aspects I find remarkable about his work is that he was able to keep his finger on the pulse of America and of the American people for nearly four generations, and was able to connect and communicate through all the changes in American life. In fact, around the world during that time, changes in communication, changes in transportation, my own view of Rockwell is that he truly was a genius. Not only was he an extraordinary painter, but he had a keen ability to observe and understand human nature and to capture and reflect that emotion and engagement and interaction of people. He just had a facility and a love for people that I think was behind his genius in both seeing and painting. So in 1967, there was a movement to tear down an old home on the main street of Stockbridge. It was known as the Old Corner House, and a group of citizens got together to save this building. And Norman and Molly Rockwell were two of the citizens who helped with this effort, but they needed to do something with it and decided creating the Stockbridge Historical Society would be a good use for it. And Norman Rockwell said, well, I have all this artwork, it's in storage. If you'd like to show it at the old corner house, I'd be happy to lend it and put it on view. So this was the beginning of the Norman Rockwell Museum. We have the largest and most important collection of Norman Rockwell's art in the world. And we have his archives and papers, and we also have the very special artist studio that he donated to the museum. It's a very intimate space, and it takes you right into the world of the artist, the easel where he painted, the chair he sat in, his paintbrushes. All these stories are present in the studio. Well, we're seeing a wonderful uh, surge of interest in Norman Rockwell and in American illustration art. These works are highly sought by collectors now, and I think the art world really is weaving together uh, the larger story of American art. We're the leading organizer of American illustration exhibitions in the country, and we have traveled these exhibits, both our Norman Rockwell collection and our archival materials, but the wonderful works of other important American illustrators, such as Terry Pinckney and David McCauley, Wendell Minor, many others, to more than 150 museums in this country, as well as numerous foreign countries. So the museum's reach is broad, and the audience accessibility is a major goal that we hold for both scholarship as well as enjoyment. Well, it's extremely rewarding to me to see Rockwell's work used to illuminate contemporary moments. As we've recently come through the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement, we've seen a great interest in Norman Rockwell's images of that time. And so these iconic visual images come around as important reminders of the central values we hold in our country and as a people. These images really are emblematic of the important moments in our nation's history and in fact our important uh, human values. So Rockwell is both eternal and timeless.